Today I have something really interesting um, to as share with you. As opposed to any other day. As opposed <laughs> to the other days when I'm not as interesting. Actually, we ha our next guest is really exciting. Um, I love adult coloring books, and I love doing them. Like mm -hmm. I t can't can't go to church without one, honestly, because <laughs> <laughs> you can just so you know, <laughs> yeah, you can just listen and color at the same time. But mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you get into the adult coloring book mode, and you're like, what else can I do with yeah. this? You know, like what what is like all of this work for? And today. We we have Myra Ray here who does a class called 50 Shades of Coloring and you should see the product. I'm that very she has. excited. <laughs> so welcome Myra. Thank you thank so you. much for joining thank us you for today. Me. Thank yeah, you. we are so excited. Like after seeing these pictures, I mean it's amazing what it you can really do with just coloring. Yeah, we just kind of um, it was about three and a half years ago that I had seen a little um, news clip about mm -hmm. a group of women. They were meeting at a little restaurant in New York City and they were coloring and I said well wait a minute and all of a sudden all these coloring books fly off you know yeah. flying off the shelves yeah. and I thought well I'll see if there's any interest in Orange County and um, started went through meetup mm -hmm. and then just kind of started doing them in various locations up in, up in Santa Ana and then over in Tustin and then down here in Lake Forest and it exploded and um, I thought it's such a great idea because you know like the you know you hear about all the therapeutic benefits mm -hmm. of coloring right I find them very therapeutic as well and but then after when, when you're done you're like okay what do I do with it you know and right, like it next? just sits in your it just sits there and like the, the actual coloring book like I don't really want to frame it or you know but but then when you showed us what you have been able to do yeah. these are really displayable so great nice. products mm -hmm. Right. Yes. We, um, I kind of have decided to come out of the coloring book a mm -hmm. little bit mm -hmm. and, and try and create other items and other mm -hmm. projects for them to um, kind of color and mm -hmm. take home and, and actually use it mm -hmm. because the same yes. thing. I mean, my, my pictures that I color are in an album. Who's ever going to look at it? Right. You know, sometime mm -hmm. maybe my kids later on. Well, it's kind of but, a fun coffee table thing, yeah. but outside of that, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. These are tremendous. Yeah, yes. this is what has taken off the last year, year and a half, mm -hmm. and it's called Grayscale Coloring, and um, print out a, a black and white picture, and then using colored pencils, the, um, you know, the, our guests then can create because the shadowing and the grayscale. So they're coloring actually, over it. They're Easy coloring right it. over it, right. So you can take a green, and because it has different shade, uh, different shading in the black and white, it'll look different colors. Wow. So um, we beautiful. have the before and we have the after, mm -hmm. and that has been a very, very, um, very popular in our groups to That's, do the grayscale. It's so really beautiful. beautiful. So, so this uh, class is going to be called Fifty Shades of Grayscale. Yeah, Grayscale. <laughs> Next, next month. <laughs> next month. <laughs> what I love is that you've also taken, so these really speak to me. I travel like an insane person. So right. I, I, anytime I see a luggage tag that's interesting mm -hmm. and fun and will jump off the conveyor at me. Absolutely. <laughs> so I, but I never would have thought to to take any of the coloring that I've done and resize it yeah. right. and use it as a personal luggage tag. And that's a really good idea. Very easy to find your luggage. Yeah. And it's beautiful. But now you do these patterns yourself, I do. correct? I do. I do. I take, um, I'll, I'll find a pattern that I think will fit with the project mm -hmm. and I'll copy it, I'll cut it, I'll fit it, I'll, you know, try to make mm -hmm. it, you know, so that it makes it easy for the, for the attendees so that mm -hmm. when they show up, all they have to do is color. They don't have to cut and oh, paste and do things really like that. Nice. So what I try to do is each month um, do a different project besides the regular ones, like um, we have St. Patrick's Day, so mm -hmm. there's St. Patrick's Day cards. And then Easter uh, last year, I found this um, using markers because we color with um, with not only colored pencils and we don't do crayons anymore, mm -hmm. um, but we do gel pens and we do the um, the Sharpie markers. Mm -hmm. And so I found a project last year for Easter and, and these blank white eggs. And um, they were able with a Sharpie to, to make a design on the oh, eggs. Nice. Oh, so that's I, really I try nice. to Yeah, I try to do something different each this month. This looks like a Sharpie marker project. That's a Sharpie, that right? sharp, that, that's a Sharpie marker. Beautiful, beautiful. And uh, the other one is grayscale. Totally mm -hmm. reminds me, when mm -hmm. I was little, so sometime in the 60s, I was flying back and forth to Florida to mm -hmm. visit my grandparents. My project on the plane was this Peter Max coloring uh -huh. calendar. Mm. So I had the 24 Sharpie markers right. mm -hmm. and I had the calendar and I would just color and, and it was mod. So it would feel oh, like this. Yeah. But I, again, we never thought to do anything but, with them. Mm -hmm. That's so exciting. Yeah, it's fun because you're proud of your drawing and then you go to the next drawing. Yeah. Right. But look how different these look for like these bookmarks. This yeah. is a grayscale 
and then the Sharpies. Exactly. Beautiful. And which one of these is a gel pen? Is this a gel pen? The drawing? gel pen is on this one. You can see, I think there's a little bling this in there. One? You have to hold it at an angle. Um, okay. Yeah, the gel pens, some, I don't know. Oh, some because some of them see. are metallic. Yeah, I it has see. a little okay. bit of the metallic mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. um, That's beautiful. Yeah, and I mean, the other thing that we try to do at our classes is, is do a little education. In other words, there's a technique to shading. Mm -hmm. um, there's um, also blending, especially with colored pencils. So I try to teach them a little bit of technique as well so that sometimes people don't like when you use a colored pencil mm -hmm. to see the streaks of the, you sure. know, of the mm -hmm. lead. And so there's different blending techniques that we try to impart oh, that's, too. That's, that's what really I do cool. With makeup. Yeah, <laughs> actually true. That's, that's true. That's right. right. You get it. Exactly. <laughs> that's right. Well, um, I really love like how you you can kind of bring in a little art lesson in there along with it with the therapy, and it just seems like a really social. great right. great social event. Social has been. Mm -hmm. There have been in the three and a half years. I mean, I've met some great friends just mm -hmm. doing this, but it's become a real good social. I mean, like mm -hmm. almost a little like a family. Yeah. And um, when new people come in, we definitely we welcome them. You know, mm -hmm. we say welcome to our family, and it's all ages so we have you know people coming in their you know 20s 30s 40s 50s on up and um, so it's really it's anybody can color I mean our, our motto is you know you, you don't have to color inside the lines and then no talent is required because oh, that's you wonderful. know I'm right there <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect <laughs> You give me all the tools I need. I can do that. That's right, and it doesn't matter. That's I mean, right. They'll say, "Well, you know, Myra, am I doing this right?" I said, "There is no right or wrong. Right. You yeah. know, it's what you feel. You know, you want to do." Mm -hmm. But it is also you mentioned therapeutic, and, and it is. Mm -hmm. um, there's we've had women come in who are just got through chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. um, I was doing a program at Kaiser Permanente, bringing coloring to their infusion patients. Um, so that was therapeutic while they're mm -hmm. there getting infusion. Mm -hmm. um, they could do something. That's you so know. Right. Color. Yeah, that's really nice. So, well, so how do people um, here at Laguna Woods get in touch with you in order well, to join this group? We do have a website. Okay. <laughs> of course, it's 50shadesofcoloring.com. Okay. Um, or they can email me at 50shadesofcoloring at gmail.com as well. And um, we have an event. We have we try to schedule one event a month at mm -hmm. Fed Rutgers and Luke, and Lake Forest, so that's very close very by. Very close to here. And we just need an RSVP. Plus, uh, Fed Rutgers is arguably the best restaurant on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> says my husband. <laughs> <laughs> that's his opinion about uh, Fed Rutgers. Uh, best restaurant oh, really? on the planet. Yeah, yeah right. for sure. Yeah. No, so. it, yeah, no. And mm -hmm. and then if they want to travel a little north, mm -hmm. we do an event a month up at uh, Panera Bread yeah. in Santa Ana Wonderful. as well. I look forward to joining you at one of these. Well, days. please do. Yes. We'd love to have you. you come and color with us. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you. We'll be back. <laughs>